Hello everyone, welcome to our YouTube channel, My Project Ideas. Today we are going to make a C++ project on the topic Cricket Score Sheet. So without much delay, we'll be looking at the requirements of this project. You will be requiring an IDE or an integrated development environment for running and compiling the source code. A text editor will be required. You may use any text editor as per your choice, but the recommended ones are code blocks or VS code. Thirdly, an operating system will be required. You may use any operating system, but the recommended ones are Windows 10 or any other latest version. Without much delay, we'll be moving towards the coding part. So here we have the standard lines that is include IOStream, kunu.h and stdio.h. Then we have a structure named cricket1 in which we have character arrays named player name and more. Then we have some integer, vari integer data type variables that is R, S, total runs, total over and extras. Then we have another structure named cricket2 which has certain attributes like the character name array. And we have three variables of the integer data type, which are x, y, and z. Then we have int main, the function, where it has uh, certain variables of different data types. Then we have arrays, player1 and player2, which is of the structure, cricket1 and cricket2, respectively. Then it will ask us to enter the details of the batsman. So here we will be writing the name of the player, the runs scored by the player, overs played by the player, and the status of the player, if he's out or no. Then we'll be entering the details of ballers. Same, we will be asking the name of the baller, the runs taken by the baller. Then there will be wickets taken by the baller and the total overs played by the baller. Then uh, it will display that thank you and you have to press 1 to see the batsman details and press 2 to see the bowler's details. Then we have a switch case where the input will be a choice which will be the player type. Then it will ask you to enter the batsman number to see his details. So you uh, enter the batsman number. Then it will display the batsman name, the run scored by the batsman, the total overs and the player status if he is out or not. For the bowler the same thing goes on. It will, you have to enter the baller's name, then it will display the runs given by the baller, the total overs played by the baller and total wickets taken by the baller. If you select any other value, irrespective of 1 and 2, then it will display the sorry, enter a valid value. Then it will ask you, do you wish, wish to continue? For yes, you have to press 1. For no, you have to press 2. So after which it will display thank you for using our system. So this is a very simple code. I hope you understood the working of the code. Now we'll be moving towards the actual implementation of the code. So as you can see, this is the actual code here. This is your code. So now we'll be running it. Let's run. Okay. So this is being run in our terminal. Uh, so whatever we have discussed in the previous, like how I have explained you, now we are going to see the practical implementation of that. It is asking you to enter the name of the player one, say Virat. Run score, say 100. Overs played, say 20 overs. He has, uh, 20 overs, he has played, say 10 overs. Then if the player is out or not, so he's not out. What is the name of the player to uh, say Dhoni? So here, over Sachin Dhoni. Okay. And here, Zadija. So here it is asking us to enter a valid value because I have done something mistake here. So here you can see that I have already inputted all the details for the both the batsman and the bowler. So here uh, if you want to see the batsman details press 1 and 2 to see the bowler details. So I have to see the batsman details. So uh, it's asking to enter the batsman number. So see the batsman number 1. Batsman name is Sachin. Runs scored by the batsman is 78. 
total overs played by the batsman is eight and the player status out is no. Do you wish, wish to continue? Let's say yes. Uh, I had to enter one actually. So press any key to exit. So I have exited. So I have to run the code again. So I, I had to press one. I pressed Y by mistakely. So that's why the code didn't run. Like uh, it was exited. So now we'll do it, run it again. And I have entered all the details as you can see here. All the details has already been entered. So it, will ask, it is asking to see the batsman detail or the baller detail. So I press 1 to see the batsman detail. So the batsman number is 1. So it's Sachin again. And his uh, runs code is 34. And total overs played by him is 2. And he is not out. So I want to continue. So I press 1. So now I have to see the baller's details. So I press the baller's detail 1. So the baller's name I... I didn't input the baller's name. Then he his total run given is 12. Total over played by him is 1. And total wickets taken by him is 2. So now I don't want to continue. So I press here 2. So it is displaying thanks and press any key to exit. So I press A here. So the code was exited itself. So this was a very simple code. This was basically to manage all the cricket scores by the different uh, batsmen and ballers. So I hope you understood the working of this code. Thank you for watching and subscribe to our channel to get more interesting project ideas. Thank you and have a great day.